Hi guys and welcome to another video from the Android Dude Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to flash a new ROM or a custom ROM on your mobile phone. Yeah, so let's begin. This ROM is Xnote 2.0 and well it's not the first ROM I flash but if you don't count the rooted stock firmware <laughs> but anyways let's begin let's turn off our mobile or our mobile And then we press volume up, the home key, and power at the same time. As you can see, he is booting into recovery. And we got a lot of options. And it's very, very important before you do anything to your device that you do a IMEI backup. So if anything goes wrong and you blow your IMEI, you're going to have some serious problems. And also, as soon as you have rooted your your phone the first first thing you're gonna do is you gonna make a backup of your original ROM and directly after you're gonna do a IMEI backup it's it's a must before you do anything to your te telephone or your mobile or your device if you don't do this you can end up in serious problems and it's not a cheap device so it's better to be on the safe side than on the wrong side trust me I have flashed many 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 ROMs and I have never ever encountered a problem ever but maybe that's because I read and read and read and read and read and I read some more so yeah I think that's why <laughs> but anyways if you want to flash this ROM you need the latest clockwork mod and it's the 6.0.4.4 that you will need before you flash uh, Xnode and as everyone know you can end up in a boot loop but if you do you can always restore back to your original ROM so that's why it's so good to have a backup I have uh, one backup in my SD card and I got one in my uh, uh, what's the name Ex external card so yeah but now let's begin. I'm going to show you how I do when I uh, flash a new ROM. It's Xnote 2.0 and it looks kind of good and I want to see what, what it is. So why not test it? And in the description it says do only wipe dot data and factory reset so that's all we're gonna do wipe data and factory reset and then of course confirm wipe of our user data this cannot be undone yes
Okay, so we got the wipe dot factory reset done. Now let's go and install zip. I know it's not the best set setup and you cannot see perfectly, but I'm recording with my 10.1 and I do it the best way I can. I just want to show you how I do when I install or, cu or custom ROM and that it's not as dangerous as people think it is. If you, if you protect yourself and do everything I said before you do anything after after you root you do a backup and or do two if you want and you do a IMEI backup and then you are ready to flash whatever you want so let's go install zip and because I put the uh, ROM on my SD card I'm gonna choose zip from SD card And I put it in download. And so you guys know we can end up in a boot loop, but if we do, we uh, turn off the mobile and reboot into recovery and restore my older ROM. So, yeah, let's rock. Download. And here we got the ROM. to use my thumb and here you see yes install xnote build 2.0 mg1 public yes so when I press power there's no way back so let's go So now it's extracting system and data. I wish you guys could read or see better, but now that's, or this is how it is. And it's gonna get better when I can afford better equipment and things like that. But for now, this is what I have. And let's pray to the Android God that he he's on my side and doesn't put me in a boot loop. There you go. Install from SD card complete. So now we go back. reboot system now and use usually when you see the X node you are good to go the boot loop are very, it's a very small percentage that you will end up in a boot loop if you can see the logo. So I think we are we are okay, but if not, <laughs> then I have to restore. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's easy. And just follow my directions, and you will be okay. But do not do anything to your device after you have rooted it the first thing you do is a IM 
E I oh I got so big problem saying those words I M E I copy or backup because the I M E I controls the network and if you blow that you you can't call you can you cannot do anything you can send messages you can receive messages you can call you can re receive call your telephone won't be your telephone anymore it only will be a gaming machine that's all so it's better to be on the safe side than on the bad side and after that when you rooted and are on stock rom you do a an android backup i can show you how you do that too if you want and this process can take some time so just hang on and there i can feel the vibration so there you go now we are running xnote and i'm gonna set this up and i can't show you guys any further because i have to enter some passwords and this and that but this this is how easily you can install a rom and if you don't like the rom then you go back to your original rom you restore back or you flash another rom and if you're not happy with your root and you want to take away your root, you just hold in and take out your or download your firmware from Samsung and you flash it and finish. You are back to your original uh, device just as when you got it from the store. Uh, I don't know if they released an app yet that can set the uh, Nox counter back to zero, zero x zero. But in a month or two, there will be one. I can promise you that. So you can feel free to flash and do whatever you want. But first, I will give you three. Of, uh, three important things you have to do before you do what I do. The first thing you do after you have rooted your telephone is you go to the XDA forum and you follow the instructions on the EMEI backup and restore and you uh, do a copy of your EMEI EI EFS folder and after that you do an Android backup of your uh, current ROM that will be your stock ROM but rooted of course and after that you can go ahead and flash ROMs and you can do it safely because if something would happen example uh, you would blue your uh, IME high. You could always restore it, or if you end up in a boot loop, you can turn back to your original uh, ROM. So yeah, this is how you flash a ROM. Thank you guys. This is the Android Do Reviews. See you next time. Bye bye. Welcome back guys. I just want to show you guys uh, uh, the Xnote 2.0 ROM. Uh, the installation went smoothly. Everything went as good as possible. And I just want to show you guys uh, that I'm now uh, running uh, oops, 
that I'm now on running X node. As you can see, build here, ROM version, build 2.0, stable. So yeah, working like a charm, as you can see. And if I was, wasn't happy with the installation or with the X node or something with the X node that wasn't what I thought it was, I can always turn off my mobile phone and uh, go to clockwork mode and restore back to my old ROM, that is the stock ROM, Samsung stock ROM, rooted one, of course. So yeah, that's all folks. Thank you so much for the time and see you in the next video. I got a nice game for you so take care the android dude reviews is out bye bye